Hey guys, it's Karina. A while back I did a tutorial on my Tumblr about how to remove Ben Nye makeup. And I uh, was thinking about it and I decided yes, now is the time to do that video tutorial to hopefully reach a few more people this time. Uh, it's gotten some notes but not nearly as many as I think it should given the prevalence of this problem that I am still seeing at conventions. So here we go. First, things that you're gonna need. Have it all here in front of me. First off, obviously, you're gonna need your Ben Nye makeup. This is uh, apparently Cadaver Grey, which I picked up for Homestuck Cosplay and then never used, so there you go. Basically unused cake of uh, Ben Nye. Now, the thing about Ben Nye is that it is oil-based. And that is A, the reason why so many people have a hard time removing it, and B, why this method works so well. So, for this method, not only do we need our Ben Nye, but we also need the things that we would normally use to make it set properly. So hopefully it won't be rubbing off quite as easily, although Ben Nye does have a problem with that. So um, we also have our neutral set powder application methods for the neutral set powder and normally we would be using final seal but as i just moved i forgot that at home so we're gonna pretend i promise this method does work when your makeup has been final sealed so don't worry just trust me on this one or refer back to my original tutorial if you want to see the proof in the pictures although they're not very good pictures so i don't actually recommend that all right, and then finally, the methods for removal. This is full of olive oil, people. That's it, just olive oil. If you want, you can add some castor oil as well, but it's not actually necessary. All you need to know for this method is that oils break down oils. So it's actually a really great method for moving normal makeup too. And it also helps with uh, some types of acne because when your pores get clogged, what you really need to do is unclog those pores. Well, your pores are clogged with oil. Oil unclogs oil, oil removes oil. So all you'll have to do is use the oil to wash your face, really moisturize it, rub it in, and then remove it with a hot washcloth, which is actually what we're going to be doing to remove Ben Nye. So uh, first I'm going to actually apply the Ben Nye so you can see how it works. Um, I mean, obviously you have to apply it to be able to remove it. Duh, okay. So I'm using a brush. I am just going to paint this awkwardly using my computer as a mirror, which actually is a little difficult, but um, you're seeing I'm getting some pretty good coverage here. Yeah, this is really interesting. Ooh. Check out that gray cheek, isn't that hot? All right, so from there, after you put on your makeup, you really want to powder it. This is helping to remove some of that glossiness that makes it look really unnatural. I mean, obviously people don't normally have gray skin, but uh, still, it helps it get rid of that shininess. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put the powder onto, well it would help if, I, help if I opened it, onto my little pad guy here. Ooh, I actually got all of this in one of the Ben Nye theater kits. It's a big cardboard box that comes with a whole bunch of great stuff in it. If you're looking about doing um, long-term cosplay, like not just using it for the one character, it is a lot cheaper to get all the supplies in one box what we did for theater back in the day so you know if you're going into your local costume shop please use local don't buy online this really bothers me a lot of amazing local costume shops are being driven out of business because everyone's going online now and they are amazing resources to be able to use to really learn how to use the products properly and also the one that I use Redmond uh, Costume Supply. It's in the Seattle area. I'll put up a link to it. Yes, I am definitely plugging them. No, I am not paid. 
But what they do is, and this is a relationship that I've built up over time, sorry, I know this is a tangent, deal with it, um, is that I will actually look through her catalogs for some sepia wigs, my favorite brand, and uh, she'll order them and get them in and let me know. Usually it takes about a week, and then she'll tell me, you know, if it doesn't work, she'll just sell it in store. So I'm not out any money if it doesn't work. She has a product that she can still sell. And you know what? That hasn't happened yet because she's been a really great help in helping me find a color and a wig style that will work for the character. So anyway, local costume shops, important. Anyway, I still have powder on this brush. So we're gonna look, Ooh. and then we're going to, you know, lightly powder, normally doing it in a uh, actual mirror so it's not so confusing, but my camera isn't flipping it back and forth. Okay, so now we see a slightly more natural looking. It's uh, not quite as shiny as it would be normally without this. And at this point, we would normally be using Final Seal, but as I said, I don't have that right now. So I'm um, definitely going to be picking that up once I drive home and <laughs> get the rest of my stuff, including my sewing machine. I really miss my sewing machine. Anyway. So at this point, we're going to go on to removal, and that's where this guy comes in. I took a old uh, hand sanitizer bottle, and I cleaned it out really well. It was not hard because it was filled with hand sanitizer, and I put olive oil in it. That's it. <laughs> so this is really handy because it's designed not to spill, and it's small. You don't have to bring an entire big jar of olive oil. No, this is all you need. There are no excuses for not bringing this to a con, okay, people? So anyway, I also have my wet washcloth. What I'm going to do is really this easy. I'm going to take my washcloth and my olive oil. I'm going to put some of this olive oil on the washcloth. Mostly I'm doing this just because it's easier and it doesn't get as messy all over my hands. So now, as you see here, I'm going to just use the olive oil to remove the gray paint. Wow, that was one pass. Does not look amazing. I'm not even using a different part of the washcloth. I'm just using the same area again. Whoa, look at that. It's almost all the way gone. Incredible, right? So I'm actually going to move to a different spot on the washcloth. Ooh, ah. And I'm going to do the exact same thing again because as you can kind of see in the video here, it's still a little gray. So still have the olive oil on the washcloth, and I'm just going to go over removing the last bit of makeup. Now my skin does get a little bit of red because, uh, well, it's not too red because I've been wa rubbing it with the washcloth, but as you can see, my skin is now totally clear. Ooh, no more gray. Crazy. So anyway, this is without a doubt, the quickest way to get rid of any makeup that's oil-based. Usually, in this case, Ben Nye. Oh, it's a clear top, so it's hard to see. Okay, there it goes. Woo! <sighs> Listen, kids. Said it before. I've heard the rumors. Dish soap? Or even worse, using Sharpies? I don't think so. Listen, at the place I got this, this cake was $9.50. This little thing is going to get you full facial coverage for multiple, multiple cons. I've used this for the demo on my cheek three or four, five, three or four times now, previously in like practice runs, and uh, it's barely been touched. I have a couple of other cakes that I can pull out for you that I used for ooh, three years of uh, stage makeup and they were the ones that you need to do for full facial coverage in order to get the shadowing right because stage lights don't show your facial structure really well. You have to paint on your own face essentially which is sort of weird but it's required to be able to make you look good on a theater stage 
Anyway, this is the one that I was using for my main face color. You can sort of see that after three years of use, it hasn't been gone, it hasn't gone down a lot. So for 10 bucks, you are getting a fantastic deal because it doesn't hurt your skin and it can come off so easily. So please stop using Sharpies. Not only is it disrespectful to the hotel that you're staying at because now they have Sharpie juice all over their bathroom, it's really, really bad for you. That stuff is toxic. Please don't use it on your skin. Use actual makeup that is designed for skin use. Yes, Bend Nye does smear a little bit. You should only be using it on your face. For your arms and hands, you should be using um, garments. You can use uh, stuff like nylons to give you that gray color if you're in Homestuck and that's what you're looking for, but you should find stuff that isn't makeup to color those other parts of your body. But for the face, yes, you do need a lot of texture and color to be able to get a human look to it, which is sort of strange. But you, it's, it's really important to make that look natural and also be able to see so you're not just going to have like a sock cover in your face or something like that. Anyway, if you have any questions, please drop it in my ask box or leave it in the comments or something. Uh, this is going to go up on YouTube as well as my personal cosplay vlog, which is Karina E. Nolan. Um, well, my cosplay blog is Karina E. Nolan Cosplay. My personal blog is just Karina E. Nolan, so it's probably going to be cross-posted to both. But if you want to follow me for only cosplay in the future, please check out my cosplay blog and uh, click that follow button. Uh, thanks, and I'll be back with more videos soon.